Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BLPH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame and is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then in this situation makes mapping out a pretty logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice movement when you consider where it was on Friday and now all of a sudden you look at where the price closed today. Any rational person can say, yeah, that's definitely been a nice move, but that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at 95 cents. Why is 95 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true breakout potential, well, the price is gonna keep on breaking out. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement has genuine power, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. I agree. So with that in mind, think about 95 cents. Any sort of closes below there, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this area of the chart where it just was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back some more, not saying this will happen. However, in this situation, the price behaves like that before starting to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this instance? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have these lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And again, in this situation, I'm just quantifying that phrase progress as 95 cents. What about levels of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are hanging out at, pretty apparent. They didn't really hide themselves on three separate occasions. The price tried to get up through $1.14 and couldn't quite do it. So that'll be public enemy number one going forward. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very nice movement today on the bull's part. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum going forward? We will see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.